Now I got a tire that keeps going down. Um, I purchased these at Walmart, but they're Brigstone. They had to order them in, and they didn't order them for me. These are the Duelers the lenses plus, and um, you know they're good rated tire. I've had them for probably three years, and they still have, I would say, almost 90% tread on them. Um, I don't drive that much, but I need the traction. And they were sitting in a a pile at Walmart at a discount, and then I made the remark to them, I'll give you 100 bucks a piece for them, and they laughed at me. I think they were 200 and something each. And I gave them my phone number, and they called me, said, come and get them. So I put them on. They put them on. Give me the lifetime balance rotation and what. But they worked on them, and they said they didn't have sealer on the beads. And I said, why don't you do it? We don't normally do it. Well, I bought some. I'm tired of, of filling the tires up every couple days. It, it was two of them. I took it in and they worked on, I took all four in, I should say, and they worked on them. And they said they didn't have sealer or they ran out of sealer. I just didn't believe what they did. So I installed them back on the car and um, because they were a carry-in. I think we were doing brakes, rotors, wheel bearings, something at the same time. So I had the wheels off is why I did it without taking a car in. But anyways... Uh, I bought the sealer myself, and I think I'm going to try it. I watched another guy on YouTube. He made it look easy. I don't think it's going to be easy because these are wide. These are 20-inch wheels, and um, they got a low profile, you know. So I don't think they're going to be easy. And they have um, sensors, wheel sensors inside here, so you got to be careful with that. And they did balance them. But uh, let me check what we got for air pressure today. Yeah, we're down again. It's down to 30. Um, I had them at 35 yesterday. So they lose quite a bit of air um, quickly. I would say a pound or two a day. But um, let's see if we can do this at home. I'm sick of taking the car in and waiting for it. All right, I just broke loose my... My lugs, I got a, a lock on there, so I had to find that in the glove box. I broke the lugs free. Just look what I found. I found some milk duds. Wonder if I have to share them with Dawson. And I'm gonna jack this up. As you can hear my voice, kind of sick there for a little bit. We got a 60 degree day. It's gonna warm up to 70. I thought it would be good little project to do and see if I could fix this tire every trip I run down there and wait time and money gas if I could fix this at home for like little or no money then uh, I like to save money and know that I fixed it um, what I did previously was I when I had the wheel off I put soap on it just to find out if there's anything wrong with the tread. And it was leaking at the bead. And anything i am learned about these type of rims is you gotta put sealer on them. That's a tire sealer. And if you don't do that, then you can't put them on drier with water. But uh, you get a jack stand under here somewhere. Just in case I don't complete the project right away. Put my jack leaking down. And that should be good. And then I brought my gun out. These should come out pretty easy now. Dawson's out in this building putting polyurethane on his beam. 
because he wants to install his ceiling fan and his smoke alarm today. So he wanted to get that the part done and then he'll cover them up to finish the rest. But uh, I want him to get the electric finished up. No open circuits. So I'm a little out of breath today. Been coughing up a lung. Ugh. You see how nice these tires are. They're big boys, big 20s. But I put soap on them and they leaked along the seams. And uh, this was on the left front and the dash says the left front tires leaking. And so I marked the rims to make sure what the location if I rotated them. And the other thing is uh, there's no wheel weights on the outside. They put a, a pound on here and a glue on there. So I think as long as we mark the rim where the uh, valve stem is, I think we're gonna be in good shape. And I'll go ahead and pull this core and release the air out of it. And uh, I'll mark the tire, a little paint. And then I got an idea I wanna try this other guy, what he did, I got to remember his name on YouTube there, but it looked pretty cool. He put the tire under the car, used the car, and jacked from the car down. Now I don't want to do that. More apt for the jack to slip. But, uh, you know, it'd probably work. I was thinking of another way. Let me show you what. All right, I'm going to mark where the valve stem is just so that I don't turn it which could make the tire a little bit out of balance we'll take the core out of it I'm not sure this idea is going to work but if it does work it's quite cheap not much in there alright so uh, we're going to put this over here let me get out the tool I think it might work on this. You guys know what it might be? Okay, for some of you guys that's following along, you know I love using my wheelbarrow, my tractor. I'm wondering if this won't work. My only concern is maybe this end of the rim might want to lift up. I got Dawson in there as my helper, and I slid this under, and what I want him to do is just push it down and as long as we don't hit the rim and I know the wheel sensors over here I want to see if that works so start it up Dawson I'm just going to give him little hand signals and then just go down really slow Now, now tilt it out. I'm not sure this is gonna work, guys. I mean, short. See, it's starting to pop. Up, up. All right, we're trying to jack stand this time. Got it guys. Okay, up. Down slow. Come on. The slow a little bit slow. Alright. Slow. Slow. I don't want any damage in my rims. All 
Okay, guys, it looks like we got it. So apparently, just with the bucket curving down, it wanted to push on the outer part instead of near the bead. And the jack stand had two points in by the bead. We did not touch the rim. My voice is terrible, so Dawson can't hear me. But uh, maybe if he grabs a camera for me, I can show you what our problem is. And get a close-up view of this. We got. You zoom it right in here if you can. Is you see the white on the rim? It's uh. It looks like they assembled them dry. There's no lube on that. See that? <laughs> that just touched the sensor. Hope it didn't hurt it. But um, that's what I want to do is I want to put bead sealer right here. See the little white? It's almost like a corrosion. Uh -huh. So I'll get an air gun, clean that out. Maybe some brake clean. And I'll clean that out and I'll get some tire bead sealer. All right. Um, these speed sensors I bought when I bought the tires I ordered them on Amazon and took a pack of four in and gave them so that um, they don't stock you know at Walmart they don't stock different types of speed sensors and I'd like to put in new ones on vehicles that have them but I want to make sure all the Crud is off this. Dawson went to grab the bead sealer. And then I think I'll bring out a little bit of compressed air. Make sure there's no debris down in there. If you can see in there. It uh, they just put it together dry. I wonder why they do that. So that wouldn't make sense to me. I've done a few tires a lot of years ago. On a tire machine and balance that I, uh, we're talking uh, in the 1980s, that um, I never assembled a tire dry. Don't make any sense. Let me get a little compressed air, blow around there, and then he's bringing out the bead sealer. All right, we flipped it over and I got the valve stem this direction. Dawson's gonna bring it down really slow, I hope. Oh. Up. That didn't work so good. Go down slow. Slower. Kids out of hand, he's going too fast. Go down slowly. I can see a little debris in here. These are quite wide rims. You break the beads kind of tough on like this. You know, just a little. Yeah, 
and lower that bucket back down some. More. Good. All right, guys, we got the back broke free. Now, I want to make sure there's no debris in there either. See that? Yep. So, we uh, blow, yeah, blow that out, would you? A little bit of dirt. Watch your eyes here. Do it a couple times. But let's slow down. Slow down. I don't have dirt in there. This guy. Yeah. This bucket has dirt in it, and some of the dirt might have fallen in there, and I just don't want it. So let's grab that brake clean, and we'll spray it out. Do the brake clean. Yeah. Like South Main Island, right? Okay. Looks pretty good. You don't want glasses on, so you gotta be careful. This will burn your eyes. Can you see the ladder? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get close up on it. The back side looks a lot cleaner than the front side. And the brake cleaner dry up real fast. And then Dawson knows how to do how I want to do the bead sealer. Here, get a close up on this inside. Alright. See down in here, this looks really clean. This looks much better than the other side. So Dawson's gonna get some sealer on that, and then we're gonna blow this baby back up. Too worried if it's a little sloppy, but try to get it inside the rim. Smooth it right in there. See this? Tilt it right up. See that bead right there? Get it on that bead of that rim there. I wanted Dawson to do it, and he's like, doesn't want to. Come over here and help me. Come over here and help me, Dawson. Come on, let's do this. I want to, I want to push it back for you because the tires are stiff. So I want you to get it right on that bead and stop slopping out here. And then come right up to this bead, right all the way up to the top of this. This will fill up any little pity void or anything in there. And we'll take a little bit of brake clean and clean up this mess when we're done. Ross is not the best painter, but come right up to this edge. There you go. Go lengthwise with it. And then we'll keep rolling around here. We're almost done with this project. I'm excited. Just so I don't have to put air in this thing every couple days. Seems like every time I take him bowling, I say, I better check that tire. Oh yeah, sit down. I never have tires that go down because I buy tires when needed. I don't like brakes, tires, bearings, exhaust. I gotta have that stuff fixed. He's doing pretty good now. Looks good. Smooge it right in there. And I think if I was had this off the rim, I would coat the rim with it and then I would use the tire sealer on the tire when installing it. Goop it up with soap. Go right up to that edge. Our mascots are outside today, tiger and squirrel. Do you know where they are? Laundry. It was laying under the car a while ago. Well, we'll finish this up here in another two minutes and we'll put some air in this. This will be kind of neat. And Dawson's almost done. And I found a squirrel out here wandering around and he's fighting me. He wants to run and play. Oh, you're a fighter. He likes food and wandering outside. Right? 
It is the biggest purr. So, how's she look? Get that right in on there all the way around. It's kind of nasty. It is sticky. We're going to get some hand cleaner. Let's check the other side. See if we got to touch it up anywhere. It looks pretty good around in there. It looks really good in there. Well, right there's a miss spot. Get some right here. See that whole dry spot there. Could be a little tiny pit in the aluminum. And see it right here? Down in there straight. I gotta get the rubber back. Ugh. Get more on me than the tire. Okay, yeah, I gotta get it on there. Squish this tire in. There's a bare spot from there to there. Straight down in here. Gotta tilt it toward the rim. There. Two more bare spots. If this is the last chance, is one chance. And then I wanna. Put some air in it so if you want to grab the fitting we'll go ahead and put some air in this dawson grab that tire chuck and we'll put some air in this this looks good guys i think is everything i can see on the rim looks coated pretty good i don't want to see any shiny metal and what I always did when I had a tire off, if I suspected a rim of being pitted, which these were on the outside, is I would have taken a brush wheel and run it on the rim and just clean that up first. And that's what they obviously didn't do. But that's Walmart tire and service. And the reason I use that and my mother uses that, and I got good years on the truck, and I had them put them on is that they have lifetime uh, service balance and rotation and a lot of shops don't have that and you got to pay every time yeah there's a little bit of bare rim there and I think overall the tire life it's a good value but I just happen to think we either they told me they ran out of tire sealer, but you know, they shouldn't have charged me or shouldn't have put them on if they didn't have it. That's what I, I didn't like. They should have rescheduled or something. But uh, like I said, on these tires, I thought it was a good deal, 100 bucks a piece for a 20 inch, uh, 50,000 mile tire. I thought it was a really good deal. Let me look again. Last time, Charlie, I can get a different view looking straight down in is uh we're gonna take some brake clean and clean this up when we're done and then i want to do some uh sandblasting on these rims and get some wheel paint paint these up this year if i get time dawson did an awesome job on one of my trailers painting them up and we ended up putting the tires on the car trailer after that didn't we but uh so we're still using them. A little sloppy there, but I did it. And then, okay, now, stop. And what we want to do when you put air in it, hear the air pop out, is I want to make sure that I'm clearing my wheel, speed sensor there, my, uh, my wheel, I can't even say the word right, but my, uh, Tire pressure sensor. There we go. Sorry about that. It's just I got a cold. I don't feel well. Um, go ahead and uh, put a little air in that slowly, and then keep your body back whenever you're putting tire, tire air and tires you got up. The air 
Um, maybe not. I thought I did. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. There's no core in it. You got to get the tire core over there and the core tool. We'll put the core back in. And then, but when I put soap around this, it bubbled up and I knew they didn't clean it and didn't seal it. Yep, set this V right down in there and then tighten that up. Take the one that fits it, this one, and spin that in. Don't over tighten it. Teaching Dawson some of these so that I don't have to do them next time. He can do them. He's going to be so smart. And then move around so they can see what you're doing here. You don't have glasses on. You should have glasses putting air in because these beads aren't pop. But back up and keep your face back. And then stop. Yeah, it's coming around, it's isn't coming, it? Yeah. All right, but just be careful because sometimes it'll go boom and pop the tire right up. Pause. See it? Uh, see it? But if, if you go real fast, up. sometimes it'll pop right off the ground. And this stuff will splatter you in the eyes, so watch it. All right, give it a rest. It's probably doing both sides at the same time, right? Yeah, Check that, that, side's, out. that side's good. That's you did side. a nice job. Right here. Yeah. Just do a little bit. You probably can go fast. I just want to do it little by little. And get her to pop up on there, you know. The Dawson should have a safety glasses on for a tire. But turn your face away. I've heard of some tire accidents before, mainly truck tires. She's almost there. Uh -huh. And nice. Okay, there you go. Let's check Popped it. right up. Yeah, let's check this thing. It looks like this might be a fix, guys. Let's wait. let's turn this down so you can see it, huh? Well, how much we got? Twenty-five. All right, we'll put in uh, thirty-five. Or Dawson will. And we'll clean these tires up, or I'll put it on and clean it up after. Car needs a bath anyway. I think if we do what we were doing, we could probably do one of these in 10 minutes. But this is kind of a first. I saw a guy doing it on YouTube, and I thought it was uh, something I could try at home. And I don't see a problem here. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today, so Dawson might get out the old T-Rex go-kart and trust it out. Maybe the mini bike too. It's got a cold little mini bike. That's 35? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera and I'll swing this on there. Get some of my junk out of the way here. Maybe Dawson will pick up all this stuff for me. Uh, These tires are pretty big, aren't they? I got 20 inch on the truck also. But what I'd like to do though is uh, go ahead and sandblast these and paint them. When I first got the car, I've had it about six years. Um, these, these wheels look pretty nice then, but out the first winter they went to crap didn't they that's gonna go and then get these things on there and then what I'm gonna do is I'll keep track I'll keep track of the air pressure in this very closely for the next few days and if this loses no air we'll call it a fix. So I would call it a fix I think the tire sealer I did buy that it was uh guessing it was almost buy one get one was it I think you get get one for ten dollars and two for twenty two or maybe it was fifteen dollars and two for twenty two or something about the deal and the speed it took 
to get here. They just delivered them, and I said, I'll just take two, because I got a lawnmower tire, a tractor tire, a trailer tire, Dawson's mini bike tire, and what else? The wheelbarrow tire. So we're going to be working on some tires that I'm going to want some sealer on. All right, tighten her up. Now, I'm not going to torque them with this. What I'm gonna do is I'll let Dawson let the car down. And what we'll do, I think these, I probably told you the torque once before. Um, I don't know if they were 125. Go ahead and let the car down. But that gun will take them up really high, and I don't want to do it like that. But if you're on the side of the road, I want to be able to get my lugs off, you know. I don't ever trust a gun that they're on tight enough. I don't want the gun to run it too tight. I want to be able to get them off if I ever get it flat. And this is going to do it. So the good thing is to go find my little tool. I found Dawson a little snack. Box of candy. Whoa. And uh, let's say this is a fix, guys. So if you like this, what we're going to do is we'll get the brake clean and some cleaner. Clean these wheels off. I gotta wash the car anyway, but I think this is gonna be a fix. See, that'll clean off nice. And uh, I might just use some paint thinner because it's less money than brake clean. But look at that, it comes right off. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we hope to have some upcoming videos when I have my voice back. And uh, I hope you have a good Easter. And we'll see you soon.